for race two in the Goodwood E Trophy presented by MasterCard. You take the drivers and you put them into modern GT cars. The opening race in the classic GT machinery was a real test around the ultra-fast Goodwood Motor Circuit. Let's see what happens now with modern-day GT machinery at their disposal. Ollie Webb won race one from Alex Day and Darren Turner. One thing's for sure, this time around it's going to be faster and even more dramatic. Remember, the Goodwood Motor Circuit, 2.367 miles long. Seven turns in total. Nick Padmore, the lap record holder, he is on this grid. After qualifying, Oli Webb will line up on pole position. Darren Turner and Alex Day, the main opposition. Marino Franchitti is there, McLaren mounted. The Audi R8 LMS for Rob Huff. Sam Hancock with the F-Type. Nick Padmore in the Huracan. There's Anthony Reid and Andy Prio with the Mustang, ready to take on the opposition. So Oli Webb comes into race two of the Goodwood E Trophy presented by MasterCard with one win already under his belt. Is it going to be two out of two? Let's find out as we get set to go racing. Race underway and a good start made then by Oli Webb from pole position, but he's under attack straight away as the cars accelerate down towards the first corner of Madwick. Fail race it is who darts through on the inside. One or two running out wide. That's Nick Padmore going for on the inside, gaining ground. But this is Ollie Webb's view. Fail race has mugged him off the start. Padmore coming under attack. Frankitti and Reed get together. Anthony Reed onto the dirt, back onto the road. Frankitti drops back. Marino seventh now. Andy Prio is the man chasing after him. This is Sam Hancock's view. Hard at work, running out of road. He's on the grass. Sideways. Can he hang on to it? It's a big, big slide. Replay on board with Marino Franchi. He gets up the curb. That's Sam Hancock off the road ahead. Marino <laughs> follows suit. Two drivers in trouble then on the opening lap of the race. But Ollie Webb is about to go for the race lead, diving down to Woodcut, through on the inside. The 911 hits the front. Through the chicane. Alex Day right up behind him, looking to get the lead back. This is Rob Huff off the road and into the wall. Huffy gets it all wrong, coming out of Woodcut, approaching the chicane. Fail races view, down through Madrid once more. Oli Webb leads the way, is he breaking clear? Let's see. Darren Turner is the man in third place, and if anything, he is closer now to fail race than Alex Day is to the leader. Franchitti takes on Prio, they almost touch, they do touch, Andy Prio off the road. Marino Franchitti gains a place, and Andy is still in strife. All over the grass, more time lost. And this is Darren Turner's view, and he too is finding it tough now to make progress. Fail race, fending him off as the three leaders blast out of Lavin Corner. Replay on board with Prio. That's Frank Hitty. Contact made, Andy off the road on one side, and then the other. Rob Huff hustling on, whoops, big drama. Somebody spins ahead of him. That was Sam Hancock and there was nowhere for Huffy to go. Sam all smiles, but it's another place lost. For second position, over the line, Darren Turner round the outside of fail race. Alex Day drops one spot, he's third, and into the back of the Aston. These cars behaving completely differently from those that they drove in the classic GT race. They've got aero, they've got grip, they've got more power, they've got more speed. Darren Turner approaching St Mary's now. Further back, Nick Padmore keeping Marino Franchitti at bay, fourth and fifth. Nick, the lap record holder around here, remember, and Marino Franchitti, a Goodwood stalwart, hustling on behind him. This, Marino's view. to Lavent. 
behind them. Anthony Reid hustling on, and he's off the road. What about Sam Hancock? Can he make progress now? Back through the order. Out of St. Mary's, Anthony Reid rejoins. Or does he? There was lots of noise and not much progress from Anthony Reid. Meantime, Ollie Webb leads the pack. Darren Turner is second. Nine lap race for the modern GT cars. Around Madrid they go. It's the 911 ahead of the Aston at the moment. This is Alex Day. He's down in third place now. So the Honda NSX has lost a couple of places. Remember, he led off the line. And he's also lost time relative to the two more experienced drivers of modern day GT machinery. Marino Franchitti up the inside of Nick Padmore. The Huracan becomes a lawnmower on the outside of Ford Water. He gets it back onto the road, but Franchitti is through and gone. Turner off the road as well now, and a big, big slide becomes a spin. Round he goes. Fail race back up into second place, chasing after Ollie Webb, the man who has got the fastest lap of the race. If you stay out of trouble in this, you're going to finish well. Franchitti comes up now to move through into third place at the expense of Darren Turner. Play of Darren's moment, wide at Lavant, back overtakes front and around he goes. That was fail race, zapping past into second position. Marino Franchitti third, but for how much longer? This is Darren Turner right on his tail, almost alongside. Down towards Magic on the inside, on the grass is Turner, they rub, they lean on each other. Darren goes through, but Marino Franchitti tries to fight back all the way around Magic now, up to Ford Water. Is this about grunt or about aero? Let's see. Advantage ahead of the 650S. Approaching St Mary's, Darren Turner it is, hanging on just to that third position. Marino Franchitti, fourth. Can he strike on the run? Out of Lavent corner, down to Woodcut. Let's see. Understeers a little bit, and that means the gap widens third to fourth. Darren Turner getting away. So Marino Franchitti chases on behind Darren Turner. This is Bale Race having a real drama at the chicane as he hung on to it. Just about, but that was very close to the edge, wasn't it? This is Turner into the chicane. Right, left. Back onto the power. Franchitti behind him. Nick Padmore hard at work as well. Look at the concentration. Marino Franchitti then over the line into Madwick. Here as he turned in, but Ollie Webb, the man that won the classic GT race, is getting away in the modern GT race as well. This is Ollie Webb's view. He's managed to shake off the opposition. Clear road ahead of him. Speed building. Andy Prio six in the grunt and go Mustang. chasing on after Nick Padmore. Remember, he drove forward in the World Endurance Championship programme. His son, Seb, has raced GT4 Mustangs. And AP all over the back of Padmore now. Gap right down for fifth and sixth. Absolutely nose to tail. Two very different ways to crack the GT3 concept here. The aero friendly Lamborghini, the Mustang with all of those horses. They rub against one another. Padmore hangs onto the place. Prio runs out of road into Woodcut. Back onto the tarmac. But look, the gap widens. And he hustles on out of the chicane. Up the kerb. Third gear. Fourth over the line. Can he claw back the lost ground against this man? Nick Padmore in fifth place as the Lamborghini twitches its way all the way around Madrid. Up to Ford Water now. There's Marino Franchitti in a rather lonely fourth position at the moment. Down Turner, third, there's Franchitti, fourth. Now, can Marino bring that gap down sufficiently to attack before the end? Nine laps, but he's running out of time. Drew Lavin, gentle with the throttle. Second apex now, power out of the corner. Ollie Webb, meantime, continues to dominate up front. The 911 RSR over the timing line. 
looks as though it is going to be two out of two for Oli Webb in the Goodwood Heat Trophy, presented by MasterCard. He has been the dominant driver thus far, whether it's in classic or modern GT machinery. Fifth gear out of Ford Water. To the right hand of before St. Mary's now. Still accelerating. Turn in down to fourth. Break down to third. Lap before St. Mary's. Fighting the car over that slight rise towards the lap corner. The man doing the chasing here. Fail race. Alex Day. The eSports star runs out of road all over the grass. Is that going to give a chance to Darren Turner to close and maybe have a go back for second place? Let's see. Fail race sorts out the moment. No, he doesn't. He's lost it. Round he goes. Gets the car back in the right direction. Darren Turner is off again as well, however. That should have been his golden chance to retake the place. He's having a big, big moment. So the one that's going to gain out of all of this, look, is Marino Franchitti. Suddenly, he's up to third. Not only that, but he might be a little bit closer to fail race, to Alex Day. Let's see. That is Andy Prio, who has caught back up. Look to Nick Padmore. Nose to tail, they run here. Lamborghini versus Ford. The Hurricane ahead of the Mustang. Prio all over the back of Padmore into the chicane here. Bang! Right into the tail. That would have done the Mustang of Andy Prio no good whatsoever incur damage, he loses time as well, and Nick Padmore gets away. Nick turns through Madgwick. So the lap record holder for the Goodwood Motor Circuit running fifth. This man, Marino Franchitti, is running third. You can see the concentration on the face of Marino Franchitti. The same two, fail race. This is Alex Day, hard at work. Time. Ollie Webb comes out of the chicane. Final lap for him, and it looks as though it is going to be a second victory for Ollie Webb. There's the checkered flag, and it is win number two in the Goodwood E Trophy, presented by MasterCard for Ollie Webb. He masters classic and now modern GT machinery. Who is going to be second? Alex Day, it will be, and then Marino Franchitti set for third. Fail race takes the flag for second spot. Marino Franchitti then third, and he's happy about that. Darren Turner fourth after a lively race and the battle for fifth. Nick Padmore and Andy Prio should go Nick Padmore's way. That's Prio out of the chicane. Padmore fifth, Prio sixth, and Rob Huff in seventh spot. Sam Hancock brings the field to a close at the end of our modern GT race. Could have been so much better, though, for Darren Turner. A big, big moment. Late race, costing him time. That game. Marino Franchitti, third place. So, Ollie Webb makes it two out of two. Alex Day, second, with Marino Franchitti, third this time around. Darren Turner, fourth, ahead of Nick Padmore. Sixth goes to Andy Prio with Rob Huff, seventh. Eighth, Anthony Reid, and then Sam Hancock. Two races done, two wins for Ollie Webb in the Goodwood E Trophy presented by MasterCard. There's one race to go, and Ollie Webb seemingly is going to take some stopping.